Aries, you are up for the March Money Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. The general readings and the love readings are already up. So those are already done. Feel free to check those out for the month of March. Technically, we're still, we're still in February. All the readings are up for February. The general, the love, and the money. Also, collective readings are up too. Whatever you watch or listen to, take what resonates with me, what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading energy in the tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now, I'm doing the money readings a little bit different this month. I'm doing a very short reading. So I will pull one card from my Money and Law of Attraction Oracle deck and I will clarify it with one tarot card. If more cards come out, I will take them. However, I'm only looking for one card for clarification. So let's start with the Oracle deck. May I have the energy for Aries for March? May I have the energy for Aries for March? May I have the energy for Aries for March? What is it that Aries needs to hear? What is it that Aries needs to hear? What is it that Aries needs to hear? May I have a card, please? Okay, two cards came out. I'll read one of them and not read the other. Meaning I'll read the front, but I won't read the back of one of them. So, the two cards say on the front. The first card says, appreciation and love are identical vibrations. Appreciation and love are identical vibrations. And then the other card says... I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. I am always receiving the essence of what I am giving. And I know why these two cards came out together now. I'm going to read the back of this one. I'm always receiving the essence of what I'm giving. But appreciation and love are identical frequencies. There is a thing that needs to be done. And it goes back to gratitude. Gratitude and appreciation, they're almost one and the same. They're a little bit different. But for the most part, being grateful for what you are given. Being grateful for the things in your life. Being grateful for the people in your life. Appreciate, and my eyes itching, appreciate what the universe brings to you. Don't ever take anything for granted. And it can be easy for us sometimes to take things for granted because it's like, okay, especially Aries energy because Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac. Aries is also a cardinal sign and a fire sign. So for Aries, being number one is like a default energy for Aries, meaning that you expect people to treat you a certain way. And if they don't, you don't have anything to do with it. Now, the only thing about that is sometimes, and I'm just keeping it real with you because I know plenty of Aries. <laughs> the only thing is sometimes because of that expectation, which is good to have that ego. I tell people having a healthy ego is a good thing, not a bad thing. You setting the standard as high as you do saying, OK, this is what I require for you to you know, interact with me where they have to treat you a certain way. Them treating you that way and doing what they do for you, you may think, oh, well, it's just part of the protocol. But really, everyone has a choice when it comes to free will. Just because somebody wants to be treated a certain way doesn't mean people are going to treat them a certain way. So for those people who acquiesce and are like, okay, yeah, I can do that, or they naturally want to do something for someone 
if a person is used to receiving that, you know, that red carpet treatment, sometimes they can forget that these people showing this love have a choice on whether they show that love or not. And because some people may not always see that, there may not be the band, the bandwidth may not be there to appreciate that. Do you see what I'm saying, Aries? So just keep that in mind. As for this, I am always receiving the essence of what I'm giving. And it says, a pre you can't make this stuff up. How about the first word in here? Appreciation and love. Oh my goodness. I I'm not making this up. It's Hold on. I'm trying to see it. Can you see that? Wait a minute. Try it's the lighting. If you see appreciation and love right there at the very beginning, it starts off. Appreciation and love and alignment to that which is source is the ultimate giving back, so to speak. For in your pain or struggle, you have nothing to give back. What you are living is always an exact replication of your vibrational pattern of thought. Nothing could be more far than life as you are living it. Or nothing could be more fair than life as you are living it. For as you are thinking, you are vibrating. And as you are vibrating, you are attracting. And as you are always getting back the essence of what you are giving. Now, again, appreciation and love on this other card at the, at the beginning. Appreciation and love are identical vibrations. So that's why these two cards came out together. I told you. Again, that connection. I was talking about this before I even read the back of this card. But they're the same thing. They're one and the same, pretty much. So I'm going to clarify this right quick with the tarot card. And see what we get. Alright, can we clarify the money energy for the cards on the table? Can we clarify the money energy... For the cards on the table. When I lifted that up, those didn't go. Ay, 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 ay. With this, it was the Ace of Swords and the Chariot. The Chariot was kind of reversed. There's some type of truth. That needs to be recognized. Once you recognize the truth about something. Things will move forward. I don't know if this is in your career. Or somewhere else in your finances with your home. But obviously this is a money reading. So there is some type of truth. That relates to money. You, you figure out where it's at. Because again. You know your story better than I ever could. There's some type of truth that relates to money. Ace of Swords. That once it's recognized, you will be able to move forward. If you don't recognize what this truth is, this will be the reversed energy. Is what it will be. And it will be hard to move things forward. So, recognizing the truth will move things forward. And don't forget, Ace of Swords is also a victory card. And air energy. It, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Energy. But like I said, it's also a victory card. There's some type of truth that needs to be recognized. And it may go back into, because it's clarifying this, about appreciation and love. There's something about appreciation and love that there is a truth that's related to money. And it's related to having a more financially fulfilled, stable, comfortable life. There's some type of connection between these things. All right? But that is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Until next time, be blessed.